Oh, this is good, man. I feel good to be out the house, man. Give everybody that put this together a round of applause. They, they trying. They, they fooled me. You know, they said they made some renovations. I said, ain't shit change here. Nigga. This is the same shit that was here the last time I was in this bitch. I was in the same room. The same exact room I was in here last time. I'm in that same room. Nigga, it's a sock that I left here. For that sock. <laughs> it's been in this fucking hotel for two years. The cleaning people ain't shit. <laughs> hey, look, I'm happy to be out the house. This is my first road show since March 14th. March 14th. I don't give a fuck. I ain't give a fuck who was here. <laughs> I've been telling jokes online. <laughs> I've been doing virtual shows, and that shit fuck with your self-esteem. Cause if I bomb here, like it's cool, like I just leave. When you bomb online, I gotta read that I was bombing. I was telling my jokes, and this dude going tight. Yo, I'm about to log off. He ain't even funny. I'm like, nigga, I, I can see you. He said, I know. I wrote that. I wrote that. You live in a whole new world, son. Like, I'm scared. Like, I'm at the point where I'm scared to spend money. Like, I'm not broke, but I'm scared because I don't know, like, this is my first show. I don't know when I'm going to make some more money and shit. Like, this is the point where, like, when I go through food shopping, like, I'm checking the meat price. <laughs> like, I'll pick up a 537 pack of beef, and I'll be like, let me look for a 436. <laughs> It ain't that much of a difference, you know. Make a smaller patty. <laughs> Black people get that. White people understand that shit. They just they throw that shit up in there. Well, nothing about the patty. You gotta make them draw a little smaller. Wait, cause y'all, I bet you y'all, you got like uh, hamburger buns. This look like a hamburger buns fry. Black people use bread for everything. Slice bread for everything. Fuck you mean buns? That's all this good shit. <laughs> Hamburger buns for good shit. That's cookouts and special occasions. Any other time, they get some of that goddamn sliced bread. Get some of that fucking sliced bread. Hot dogs. Yeah, sliced bread for hot dogs, hamburgers, fish, peanut butter and jelly. We use sliced bread for everything. All that. Buns is for extra shit. Weddings, that's when you use buns. Motherfucker, weddings, you pull out the good shit. <laughs> right now, I'm using the sliced bread. That's what I'm shit, man, I'm single. Thank you. Just fuck the rest of y'all when you say shit. I just, just looked at me like, so? <laughs> Tell some jokes, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying, dude, this shit rough. Like, I really, I ain't gonna front. I, I've been in the house for about four or five months by myself, right? And I realized that I need a woman in my life. I'm gonna tell you why, because it's not because I'm lonely. It's I realized how much shit in my house that I don't have. <laughs> Cause I'm a comedian, I'm on the road all the time, I'm traveling, so I don't really be paying attention. I've been in the house and I realize I don't got a lot of shit. Like I don't even own a trash can. I got a bunch of Target bags on every doorknob in my house. Motherfuckers like take the trash out. It's on the knob. Fuck it and replace that bitch. It's a bunch of bags under the cabinet. Like, it's just so much shit I didn't realize. I got two towels, two rags, one of them rags crunchier than a motherfucker. Like, you can exfoliate with that bitch. That shit is serious. Cause I didn't even realize, like, women, y'all definitely make a house. When I was living with a woman, I didn't, and my house was a lot homier. Yeah. Like y'all, y'all just y'all make that shit home. Y'all buy shit for the house, motherfucking paints for the bathroom. <laughs> they buy pots, <laughs> motherfucking. They got like decor. 
they, they buy shower curtains. <laughs> one for the inside and the outside. I'm like, I need two of these. Like, I, mean, I, I thought one was good enough. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, fellas, if any guy here live by yourself, I guarantee you, it's a bunch of shit you don't even have. Like, my, like shit you never even thought about buying, my man. That's your lady gonna let it go. I guarantee you, you never in your life brought some oven mitts. <laughs> this motherfucker ain't never bought it. He got a big screen TV though. PlayStation 5. Right. He ain't got no fucking oven mitts. Ain't not one dude in here. Been like in Target and was like, yo. <laughs> I think I need some new oven mitts, you know? <laughs> I think I need some new ones, huh? I don't like the way the other ones look. <laughs> I need some new oven mitts in this bitch. Cause we, like, we do some dumb shit. Like somebody be like, yo, we, we ain't got, we use shit like a, a sock or like the bottom of your shirt. Just like, yeah, just pick that shit up and move it. I don't know, man. Women, y'all definitely do that shit. I didn't realize how much I needed a woman around the house. It's a bunch of shit I can't even do. Like, I can't wash clothes. Well, no, I'm a lie. I can wash clothes. I just don't know the shit to use to wash clothes. Because I was with my lady, she did that. She would buy Tide all the time. Tide. So now, live by myself naturally. When I go to the store, I'm buying Tide. That's what I get. Went there the other day, they had this big ass display. Uh, the fucking Care Bear. Who was that? Um, the Care Bear. No, Snuggles, yeah, that little bitch. They had this big ass display of Snuggles. And I was looking, I was like, oh shit, it was like $20 cheaper than the fucking Tide that I usually get. So I was like, shit, you about to save me a you know what I mean? I went home and washed four loads of clothes with fabric soft around this bitch. I was, I was walking around here soft as hell. But I was staying. I was just fluffy than a motherfucker, but was smell like buffalo wings. <laughs> but like I said, it's hard talking to females, man, when they in the group. Cause, cause at that point, like when you see a group of girls, they see you before you even see them. All of them. Like you be about to walk over there, they be like, girl, look, 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 look. He about to come over here. We about to shit on his dreams. <laughs> Like we, bitch. I never been really good at just talk. Like you gotta already know me. I'm saying like you gotta already know who I am or something like that. I just walk up to you blindly, cause what would it make you feel low? I got rejected in Starbucks. I <laughs> Starbucks. I'm gonna tell you what happened. This one hurt because she didn't actually say no. She just made a sound. <laughs> Real shit. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm in Starbucks, I'm chilling. I'm in love. It's this girl in front of me, right? And when she was ordering, whatever she was ordering, she noticed that she left her wallet back at the table. So when she walked off, I was trying to be on some pimp shit. I was like, yo, my man, how much is it, man? I'm gonna pay for it. He was like, 1950. I was like, ah. <laughs> Fuck you ordering books. <laughs> I'm paying tuition in Starbucks, nigga. This is this is not my thing. But I was stuck. I had to do it. So I paid for it, you know what I mean? And when she walked on then so I paid for it, and when she walked off, I was about to leave. I was like, Lawrence, go over there and say something to her, man. You did a good gesture. I mean, state you know what I mean, put your little game down. So I walked over to her and said, How you doing, sweetheart? I uh, think you're very attractive, and uh, I was wondering if you wasn't doing anything this weekend, maybe we'd get together, get a bite to eat, get a drink, you know, just get to know each other better. And she looked me dead in my face, and she was like, Aww. That's it. She ain't say shit else after that. Like, she just went back to type it, like, I wasn't even a fuck there. I thought that was wrong, because she could have said a bunch of other shit, like, no, or I got a boyfriend, or I'm working on me. You ever get that shit? <laughs> I'm working on me. I'm like, you 40, you about to die. Fuck out of here, bro. What the fuck is you working on? It's over with you. Like, wait, wait, wait. Hey, go to Friday's with me. Shut up. Fuck you, man. I'm working on me. Let's use this. I'm working on me. Now, but you got women, y'all, are you a very truthful person when it comes to when you meet a guy? 
You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Women, not y'all not. No, this is this is it. Women, y'all, how y'all truth is? Y'all won't tell a guy everything up front. You'll like gradually let him know different shit in your life. Like, oh, yeah. like if you crazy, I would rather you just tell me you fucking crazy. Don't like, don't do little bits of crazy. You know, like take my phone one day and slam it on the ground the next. Like it just get crazy and crazy. So it's like if you got anything wrong with your body, ladies, listen, if you got anything wrong with your body, tell me. Just tell me. I met a young lady who had something wrong with her body. She tried to, you know, disguise it and didn't tell me up front. I had to find out on my own. I don't like surprises. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you how it happened now. Has anybody from ever dealt with or know somebody that has one of those Audi belly buttons? <laughs> Alright, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know how your belly buttons stick in? Yeah. These stick out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I had never seen this shit a day in my fucking life. But she knew she had this half a pickle on her fucking stomach. I was going to tell No, she knew that shit was there. I could have got a jar. I don't know. So I could have worked with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I had, now, how I found out about it was, see, I'm a comedian, right? And I used to work a lot. You know what I mean? I don't work no more now, but I used to work a lot. So, you know, mainly my work week would start, say, Thursday, and it's over by Saturday. So during the week, I'm not doing a motherfucking thing. Just sitting on my ass in the house. And fellas, that is the worst thing you can do to a female. Is when she come home from work, you just sitting in the house not doing shit. You just sitting there. Like, I got this thing. So if you, like, if your lady come home, you hear the keys, just pick up something. Just hold that shit in your hand. When she walk in the house, just be like this. Yeah, I just got finished. I just did, I just mopped, uh, just mopped the carpet real quick. So I just, I just did it, baby. I just. So you try to do something. So I got this thing that I planned out that is called Yid Night. Yid Night is where the lady I'm dealing with get to come home. One night out the week, she ain't got to do shit. You ain't got to cook. You ain't got to clean. You ain't got to do nothing. Because it's your night. You get to watch what you want to watch on TV. Because it's your night. So I went all out. It was her night. I went all out. Cooked, cleaned, did everything. And I got down in the kitchen too. <clears throat> I got down. Had the little baked asparagus. Had a little cheddar biscuits from scratch. Had a little red wine. Had the slow roasted hot dogs out this bitch. <laughs> I ain't never had slow roasted hot dog. <laughs> hey man, had them in the crock pot. They were smooth off the floor. You know what I mean? Smooth off. You know? So then after we ate, you know, watched a little movie and shit, you know, now we about to get physical. You know? Once again, it's that bullish at night. You ain't gotta do shit. Sit your ass on the corner of the bed and we'll take off your clothes. I'm gonna start from the bottom, work my way up. Took off her shoes, real nice and slow like. Looked at her feet. They was fucked up. They was, but it's not the fucked up y'all thinking. Like she had corns, bunions and shit like that. Nah. She just didn't have a pinky nail on her pinky toe. It was just nail polish and skin. You know what I mean? I was like, you could have left that shit blank, boo boo. Like, what was the point? Like, why would you paint that up? Why the fuck would you paint that up? Then I was thinking, like, maybe she went to the nail salon. She was like, hey, I only got nine nails, so I get a discount. She was like, no, 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 discount here. You know what? That was racist. I didn't have to make that voice. That was real racist. I'm gonna take that off my set. That was, so if there's no discount people here, I'm sorry. That was, whatever. 